it's Ariel. Today I'm gonna be doing a My New York City apartment studio tour, yay! I've been wanting to do a video like this for a really long time. I've been living in New York City since 2019 and I finally got my own apartment in March. I didn't really get a new apartment, my roommate just left, but I will explain all of that in a second. So a little bit about my apartment journey since I've been living here. This is the third apartment that I've lived in. I lived in Brooklyn for a while. I moved to two different places. I just really didn't like it. And I was having a lot of problems with my roommates because I had rented an apartment off of Facebook Marketplace, which I do not recommend. And then finally I moved in with someone from the academy and I lived with this person for a while. And then in March, this person left and I was able to take over the lease on the apartment with my fiance. So I'm really happy about that. And so if we back up a little bit to when I moved into this apartment, it was actually in August of 2021. At that time, I think the rent was like almost like $2,300 a month. And right now it's like almost $2,500 a month. I live in Two Bridges, which is kind of like on the border of Chinatown. Normally when I say two bridges, nobody knows what I'm talking about. So if you're not from New York, I'll just say I live in Chinatown. I live on the fifth floor in an apartment that has no washer or dryer. And we also don't have a dishwasher. Those things are not really that important to me. Um, also, we live in a rent stabilized apartment. So this building is really, really old. One of the reasons why I like it so much is because it's rent stabilized and also it's just like a very quiet neighborhood. I live in a two bedroom, two bathroom apartment, but I use one of the bathrooms as like a closet, <laughs> um, which I will show you guys. I did a poll on Instagram and I asked you guys which video you would rather see, a apartment tour or a studio tour. So I'm gonna do something like the best of both worlds and I'm going to do an extensive tour of this room and then I'll do like a walkthrough of the rest of my apartment. But please note this room, the only room that actually looks nice, the rest of my apartment looks really kind of embarrassing. I want to the rest of it look nice, but right now I'm just focusing on this room. I guess I'll just get into the tour of my apartment. So if you're standing in the front door, this is the view. I don't really have like a dining area. It's pretty much just a kitchen. My studio is right there. That's my bedroom. And then this is the bathroom. I will come back around and show you guys that stuff. But right now I'm going to do my studio first. My sculptures I keep out here. Eventually I do want to put my sculptures like above the cabinets because we finally got a kitchen table. I had been eating on the floor <laughs> for years. And so this table needs to go so that this can be like pushed back. And yep, I have to make some kind of room for my sculptures. Also my little, let me put this somewhere else. Shot of Genesis. This painting I hate and I really would just like to throw away. If you want to buy this painting for like $500, please buy it from me because I don't want it. Okay, oh my gosh, guys. There's so much that I want to talk about in regards to this room. I don't even know where to start. So I guess we'll start with this corner, which is like not necessarily art related. Actually, no, <laughs> let me back up. I want to start with my inspiration for the room and why my art studio has a pink wall instead of all of the walls being white. And my reasoning for this is that I really wanted my studio to reflect my paintings that I'm making right now, which all kind of deal with like girls in intimate spaces and bedrooms. I kind of have like changed my color palette with my paintings and I just, yeah, I just really wanted it to be like a mix of a bedroom and also a studio. And I'm also making like a mini bedroom. I will get to that in a little bit. I had been sharing a room with my fiance 
for so long that I just really felt like I didn't have my own personality anymore and I didn't want the room to feel sterile. The reason why studios are white is because when the light comes through the window and bounces off of a pink wall, it's reflecting a pink light onto your work. So that's why I left some of the walls white and also I paint on an easel. So I actually don't paint on this wall just so that I make sure that my colors are, are correct and everything else. So yeah, my inspiration was teenage girl bedroom slash art studio. And I feel like I'm doing a really good job of portraying that. I'm super happy with the room. It's not quite done, but it's getting there. I don't want the room to be cluttered because this is my workspace. So I have to be careful with how much stuff I put in this room. This corner kind of is my clutter corner. So you guys have probably seen me post my hyperfixation of my DVDs. And so the reason why I started collecting these DVDs a couple of months ago, and I have more that are down here, also my CDs too, um, is because I got kicked off my parents' Netflix and I'm just super upset with like having to pay for streaming services. And I just miss the physical feeling of like having DVDs. So a lot of these DVDs I've just got for a dollar at the thrift store. And I was surprised by how many like really great ones I found. I also found this DVD player. I almost cried. It was only $3 and it's pink and it just like goes with everything else so well. Also peep my paintings in this. Oh my gosh, what page am I on? There we are. That's me. My little, I hate how my name starts with a T. I'm always at the end. There she is. But anyways, I'm super happy that I got this DVD player. It doesn't have a remote, but it doesn't, I don't really care. I made this pile of like some of my favorite movies. As you can see, we have Double Jawbreaker. And then we have my little brat's baby. We have my very, very soft plushies. I got these at the thrift store and um, the thrift store by my Mima's house, which is like my favorite place also to get clothes. They always have such like high quality stuffed animals, like from the eighties. I just love the rose pattern on this one. And like I said, it's very soft. I don't like dingy stuffed animals. I got this when I was home, when I was just in Maryland from Marshall's. It smells good. My little candle, I got that at the thrift store with my Mima's. Um, We have my Hannah Montana cigarettes. Um, we have some books. Haven't read The Bell Jar yet. I loved Night Bitch. It was great. I didn't like this book as much. Bunny is amazing. Go Ask Alice is like, okay. Looking for Alaska was my personality in high school. 101 Poems About My Ex-Boyfriend is a must read. That's by Trisha Paytas. Girl in Pieces was like, eh. If he had been with me, really fucking pissed me off. Don't even get me started. I'll probably read the second one though. I would just like to say that I, when I moved here to the city, I pretty much didn't bring anything with me. All I brought was my clothes. Granted, I do have a lot of clothes. Don't judge me. I like clothes. I don't know what to say. Well, I only have like small piles of these things because like I said, one, I don't want to clutter this room. Two, this is not all of my stuff. I have a room full of stuff at my grandparents house on Long Island and then I still do have some stuff in Crisfield. I have like a box of books there. My old high school artwork is still in Crisfield. Um and also just like other things that I've collected. Um my tattooing kit. I bought a tattoo kit in tw like 2020. I spent so much money. Only gave a couple of people some tattoos, but like that's still in Crisfield. Okay, let's continue with the tour. My last yap about the DVDs is I'm trying to find a CRT TV, either like a pink one or a purple Bratz one. And also the CDs, I'm planning on trying to find a pink stereo at the thrift store because again, I just like the physical copy of having a CD. So these three movies here 
are some of my favorite movies and this is Jennifer's Body, Jawbreaker, and Drop Dead Gorgeous and they really inspire my art and this painting specifically was inspired by Jennifer's Body and so I was kind of like inspired by the power dynamics um, in like female relationships and that is again just kind of like following the new kind of work that I'm making right now and yeah. So then when you get to this door here, normally I always have the pink dress hanging up, but I have my other dresses put away. I'm doing a TikTok video talking about my prom dresses. That's why they're all hung up there. And then I also did a what's in my bag video. So this wall is meant to just like display my work. Um, this painting is so big and so heavy that it has to be kind of like put on the ground. My coworker made me these boxes. Um, and if you're wondering like what they are, it's just so that when I'm like sitting in a chair that normally I would hang the painting on the wall, but these uh, new paintings that I've been making, all of them have aluminum stretcher bars and so it's really really heavy and if you hang it up on the wall it will fall off of the wall and so my easel also technically is like too small to hold it so I needed some kind of way to like lift it higher off of the ground and my coworker very graciously made these for me and they kind of remind me of birdhouses because of the little holes. I painted a flower on the one side. I'm gonna probably like decorate them. Um, but yeah, it's just so that when I'm painting, I don't have to like kneel on the ground and I can stand and just be like boop, boop, boop. This was the color study for my painting Drama Queen. Ta-da. This was the first drawing I made for my painting right there. And the original title was Girl Best Friends, but then I changed it to Vegans, Virgins, Valentines, which is actually the title of a book that I read a couple of years ago. The book is honestly not that good. I just like the title. This is an upcoming painting that I'm going to be doing. This is a still from a movie. I have not seen the movie, but I honestly can't even remember what the name of the movie right now but I'm gonna change a couple of things about it. I'm trying to decide like which color. So I did that, I'm not done with it. But, and so like, these are the original colors of the movie, the blue, but I was thinking to make everything match then I'm probably gonna do it like pink and red. Uh, and it's gonna be me. I'm making a painting about prom. This drawing is going to probably be scrapped because I just don't like the composition on it. But I am thinking about making like a cake that can be hung on the wall like a painting and I want it to have like a prom scene happening and so when I'm going on another vacation in July and then in August I'm going to start this painting and probably a version of this so not this exact composition kind of like at the same time. My little painting card is a whole mess I'm already planning my 27th birthday plans. Okay, so for my 27th birthday, I'm gonna be doing a photo shoot that's inspired by like Disney Channel magazines. And so I wanna do like a carousel of three photos. And one of them is going to be like future me and it will have like everything that I wanna accomplish in my year of being 27. And then the next slide, like a list from the movie 16 Wishes, which I haven't seen, but I've seen a lot of clips from and I really want to get that movie on DVD and watch it. And then the third picture is going to be like, you know, when you would see like a Disney magazine, it would have like Miley Cyrus and it would say like, best summer memory. And like, then she would like write on it with a marker and she'd be like jumping in the pool with my PJs on. I'm gonna do like a best birthday memory. So basically I'm just in my teeny bopper tween, Disney, murder, uh, jawbreaker, mean girls, yada yada, yap yap era. So this is just like a wall of inspiration. Again, I didn't want to like fill the door with pictures because I don't want it to look too cluttered in here. That is a print from Jen Mann, who is an artist that I used to really, really love. 
and I had, I got like a book of her art and so that I just ripped out of the book. Marilyn Monroe, if you know me, then you know that I love Marilyn Monroe. Lived through this by whole, one of the best albums of all time. Also like been one of my hyper fixations the past year. I just really love that picture of the girl with the meat face. This gigantic girl in this vintage cake. I love vintage things and I fucking love cakes and my meat heart. And then on the back of this door, I just put these on the other day. We have Twin Peaks because I specifically was very interested in like the character of Laura Palmer. And then we have another still from Jawbreaker. And then we have Drew Barrymore with some cakes. So this is actually a bathroom. I just use it as a closet because I have so much stuff. There is a toilet underneath of this bag. I'm keeping my winter stuff in here right now. There was a leak there. I don't, the landlord here does not like care about stuff. But anyways, my shoes are on the ground there. This just has all clothes in it. Some styrofoam. This bag is full of styrofoam for my sculptures. I want to build a like shelving system to make it more organized in here. But if you're wondering like why I use this as a closet instead of a bathroom, it's because me and my fiance don't really need two bathrooms. And I have so much stuff that I really, he didn't care that I was using it as a closet. So this little area is new. My mom just got me this desk because I needed something to like put in this weird space where the bathroom is. So this just kind of has like all of my art supplies, but again, not all of my stuff is in this room. Some of my stuff is in the other room. And here, I think I'm gonna end up like removing this from here. Cause if I do get a CRT TV, I'm gonna have to put it on this desk cause I don't have some anywhere else to put it. And homegirl here, is gonna go above the kitchen cabinets with the other sculptures. But I do really like her in here. And I was thinking like, maybe I could build her like a custom shelf, like a caddy corner shelf there. This, I just painted the drawers pink on here and I got these knobs from Sheen. I'm mad because I ordered six of them, but a bunch of them broke like literally broke into multiple pieces. That is my very first camera that I got when I was eight years old. Old Dear Diary picture, my painting up there that I hate and I really would like to throw away. And over here we have my little My Little Pony, my precious moments. And then let's come around to part of my music video. That's what this is. So I found this bag at work, someone was throwing all this fabric away. And so I'm like a hoarder. And so I grabbed it out of the garbage and I decided that I wanted to make a diorama of not necessarily like this room, but just of like a bedroom. Cause I really trying to make a music video for Beautiful Princess Disorder. I actually have to like put my phone on a stand to explain this part. So in my last video in February, I was talking about how I was trying to make a music video for like a new single and then I was going to try to put it out in the fall. I decided to not record a single when I went home. I just came back from Maryland. I canceled my recording session because I have some songs written, but the song that I really wanted to record, I showed it to some people and basically it just wasn't strong enough. We all kind of agreed that I needed to um, just do something different. I decided I wanted to do the music video for Beautiful Princess Disorder since I'm not no longer uh, releasing like a single. Except for I don't really know if I'm gonna end up finishing a video. It's just so much work. I mean, even building this stupid bedroom set, I barely started it and it was very hard. I burnt the heck out of my finger, putting the little floorboards on and I have to hand make everything. And then I have to decide if I want to make a version of myself or if I want to do like green screen. I don't know. It's just like so much work. We just have this wall of paintings. This is a painting I'm working on right now. And then this 
depressing. I have like repainted this so many times. This is like another scene from Jennifer's body. I, it, I'm just not feeling it. She kind of looks like a shark. She's not supposed to. I repainted the face like five times. I'm off July 4th and 5th, so I'm gonna work on this painting some more. I'll probably finish by the beginning of August. And that is the tour of my art studio slash girl's bedroom. So now I'm going to show you the rest of my apartment, which is really ugly. So this kitchen is pretty small, but honestly, I've seen the layout of my neighbor's kitchen in their apartment, and this one is actually better, which is really sad to say. I do a lot of cooking, so I do have a lot of stuff going on here. I never had used gas stoves before, but I really like this one. Fridge with all of my magnets on it. You know, gotta remember the little people. <laughs> um, me and my friends, me and my fiance, me and my horse. I guess I can show you guys what the view from outside. So that's the Manhattan Bridge all the way back there. I really want to tell the landlord to do something about these wires that are hanging. And then, well, you can't really see, but building a, a new building that, right there. Wait, maybe we can see it better from the window in this. There we go. So they've been building that for a hot minute. And then you can kind of see some more out there. So then we come into the bathroom. This bathroom, when you sit on the toilet, your knee touch the wall and also on a ledge. So when people like step down, one time my uncle came here, literally fell out of the bathroom, almost slammed his head on the cabinets. I have nowhere else to put my makeup. If you think this is gross, I'm sorry. I also think that it's gross. That's why all my makeup is in bags. Shower situation that's the bathroom now for the grand finale my disgusting bedroom <laughs> and Mikhail's playing his game <laughs> this room used to have more paintings hung up i took them out since i hung them up in the other room and as you're looking in this bedroom, I just would like everyone to know that me and Mikhail shared this room together for years that I also painted in and I painted on that wall and I lay my paint stuff on the bed. Like I said, since I have two rooms now, this room is kind of empty, but it had so much stuff in it before. Mikhail's area, he likes to do like sim car racing and then his pile of things there and he's playing his game and then this closet has all my clothes in it underneath the bed is like more of my art supplies and more clothes and then that's all clothes and I would really would like to throw this painting away too so if you want that one come and get it I also hate that one so that's it that's the tour of my almost $2,500 a month apartment in two bridges on the fifth floor with no elevator. Some people might not understand why I would want to live in an apartment like this, but now that I don't have a roommate, I honestly really love living here. I live super close to my job. I just walk like 10 minutes and having my own space in this room like makes such a difference. And when you've been living in a tiny room for years with someone else, I mean, unless you're rich, it's really not gonna get better than this in the city. That's just something that you have to understand when you live here, is that space is very limited. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'm sorry if I didn't explain my art very well. I feel like the older that I get, the more harder it is for me to talk about my work because people always say visual artists are visual artists for a reason, like we don't wanna have to talk about our work. But 
if you guys want me to make art videos on my YouTube channel, let me know. Or really kind of like any videos in general, because I like to do like fashion and makeup videos too. Thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, follow me. Also, please listen to my EP Heartsick. It's available on all streaming and I'll catch you guys later. Bye!